Welcome to That's No Class. I'm Brian Berman. And I'm Morgan Darian. Welcome back to the home of class. Friend, the beanie debate, it really scratched an itch I think that people must have been feeling <laughs> about the, these people walking amongst us wearing seasonally inappropriate clothing. I like this. Did you hear? And then immediately after we did the episode, it was a really hot day and I wore a beanie. Yes, you did. Of course. Of course. Uh, but yeah, we had one listener uh, leave us a message telling us okay. her thoughts about beanies. So something that I think about when I think about beanies is, you know how when people take off, like if someone's wearing like a baseball cap or something, um, that they take off their hat as a sign of respect, like when certain people enter the room or if you're in a certain type of place, you take off your hat to be respectful of the area or whatever. I feel like beanie wearers are so much less likely to take off their beanie as a sign of respect. And maybe that's just me, but that's what I've observed. (laughs) It's not just you. It's totally not just That's you. That's so true. Well, okay, I can see the plight of the beanie wearer because it would totally mess with your hair. But rude. Yeah, I mean, I think that so. I love this idea that a person's entire character is like completely <laughs> represented by this one piece of clothing. Okay. But we haven't heard from any summertime soft-handed Apple IT beanie wearers, as Morgan calls them, though. So call the voicemail if you're like a true defender of the beanie and say that you will rep this look with no shame anytime. Let us know. We'll hear you out. Call us. 877-7-NO-CLASS. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for that uh, call. From That was from our listener, Jessica. Nice. Thanks, Jessica. All right. Uh, let's get to some news. Now, here's the news. Okay. So, Disney is back on our show. Oh, no. But now, <laughs> I'm giving Disney some props on this oh, episode. It's slightly different. What? Okay, so Walt Disney World owns a giant piece, I should say the Disney company, owns okay. a giant piece of land in Florida that Walt Disney World sits on along with all the other theme parks that it owns. There's no houses or anything on it. It's all Disney property. It has been since the 60s, and mm-hmm. it actually has its own governing district okay, yes. set up by this. the company. Yes, it's mm-hmm. kind of been in the news a little bit. So it's like a mini county. And it has a yeah. board that runs it. It's like in L.A., we have the L.A. County Board of Supervisors. And these mm-hmm. are the people that, you know, determine county things. So uh, Disney really had its own Magic Kingdom, really. And they've been butting heads <laughs> with Florida's governor for like the last year. And okay. I want to remind our listeners that we don't p- talk politics on this show. And this is not a political story. <laughs> and I am not saying anything about Governor Ron DeSantis. And his. this has nothing to do with politics Okay. To me, this is right. this this angle we're focusing on is just funny because I'm just framing this story as a business versus government story. Okay. That's it. It's not right. political. Gotcha. And so Florida's governor wanted to get control over this district. The okay. reasons may be political, whatever. You guys figure that out. But he wanted to and did replace that board that governed that district mm-hmm. with his own handpicked board that would oversee that region, basically removing Disney's like all-encompassing power over no this way. district. But we just learned within the last week that Disney had a little trick up its sleeve. Okay. And nobody, including the new board that got replaced <laughs> and the governor, found out about it until this week when we what? all learned about it and it was in the news. Surprise. So Disney made a deal with the old board before uh-huh. it was replaced, this like signed contract deal that guaranteed Disney the authority to expand its parks and properties within that district for 30 years going forward. And there's a special clause in it that makes that guarantee last, quote, until 21 years after the death of the last survivor (gasps) of the descendants of King Charles III, King of England. (laughs) Stop! And so... What? The new board is trying to do some stuff, and then yes. I guess somebody was like, uh, you can't actually do that because of this contract. And they were like, what contract? And it got pulled out, and they were like, "Like what the? And so this no. whole thing has happened. They had no idea. The governor had no idea. And so the new board is like, our hands are tied. We can't override it. It's yes. written into law, and there's nothing that we can do. And they're Sorry. all pissed, and they're like... 
<laughs> Disney totally like freaking sleight of handed us with this thing. <laughs> and so should have known. Yeah. Should have known not to mess with Disney. Should have known not to mess with Disney. I mean <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Governor says he's gonna get lawyers involved and see if it's actually oh, legal and wow. try to undo it. And who knows, maybe it'll work. But we'll it see. just cracks me up, dude, because Disney is just such a funny and sneaky company, like such a <laughs> sneaky little move to do. That's really funny. <laughs> like, nothing you can do about it. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> it's so specific. <laughs> so specific and wild. And like, that wild clause <laughs> is such a like, F you. Yeah. It's such a like, we're going like, to put this. How are you going to get around this <laughs> yeah, one? Yeah, figure this one out. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> anyway, so that's fine. What okay, do you got? Okay, okay. So the New York Times tells us of a 29-year-old woman. Let's just let that sink in. 29 years old. Think about where you were at at 29, mm-hmm. at almost 30. This woman is being charged because she made up fake documents so she could attend high school. Did she need a diploma? No, no. She's a college graduate with a degree in political science and Chinese. She said she was lonely. <laughs> too sad after her divorce and missed the good old days of being in high school she pled not guilty despite clearly making the documents so she is in fact guilty she made a false birth certificate so i'm like yeah that's a lot of effort to then plead not guilty like dude you have been caught i almost didn't do this story because it's too sad like she's just lonely like that's that's no, so sad. That's really sad. Was what's the charge? Is it fraud or yeah, some and sort like of like she like falsified documents because okay. you have to give like official documents yeah. to the school. Yeah. And so now everyone's in a hubbub because they're like, how could you let someone, an adult, into the school? So it's she like, she actually made it in. Yeah, she went she there actually, for four days. She went there for four days. Yeah. Well, okay, but in the school's <laughs> defense, they have to allow a student in even if they don't have their documents yet. Yeah. Because of like, I think there's like you know yeah, kids no, who it, like need help and stuff like totally. are changing schools, yeah, so they're like, okay, that's we'll how, just let you in, that's and how then it works. and then you'll get the documents later. Yeah, so it's probably what happened yeah. and why she could attend for four days because they probably got them like by day two or three, yeah, and then processed them, yeah, and then they were like, ooh, this is not real. Oh, <laughs> man, that is. I mean, what this what this really makes me think of is, yeah, I know that twenties, your twenties are really culturally described as being the most fun times and the most wild times right. for a lot of people 20s suck yeah and like i can see how people got their degrees did everything got in the, like yeah. the real professional world and they were like i don't have any friends yeah my life kind of sucks yeah and everyone told me that it was going to be better than this and this is all that it is yeah that's sad and you have so much responsibility and you don't know what you're doing and yeah. you feel like everyone's doing better than you it, and totally you're just like can i please go back to a simpler time yeah. when <laughs> we just like went to the mall and I mean, laughed at about stupid jokes <laughs> the weird thing to me though is why high school and not college i, I don't you know could i don't up. know I mean, you could totally fit into college totally fit into college <laughs> but i guess you have to pay for college so oh there you, you go free. just came down to the <laughs> dollars and cents <laughs> Okay. Well, pretty interesting. I hope I hope she feels better I hope after she's this. Okay. Cuz paying that Rough. fee is not going to solve the hole in her heart. Exactly. That she has this poor exactly. woman. Exactly. But help I her think out. she is she's headed home after this. She does she has she's to like home. What does that she mean? She lives in a different country. Oh. So she didn't even have family here. What? I know. It That's was so a much lot. weirder. <laughs> She's not even American, and she's like, I want to, because I've heard that American high schools are very different, extremely different from other countries' high schools. I, yeah, I guess. No, but she went here for high school. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's really wild. Okay. Jeez. All right. Well, when we come back, uh, we're going to have some more news, and then uh, we'll have something totally new. So thanks so much for listening. We'll be right back. 